Forgetfulness is often accepted to be a natural product of the aging process, with as many as 40% of people over the age of 65 experiencing some form of age-related memory impairment. However, a recent study researching memory loss in mice may mean that this will soon no longer be the case. The study, conducted by a team of researchers at the University of Cambridge and the University of Leeds, produced a method of reversing age-induced memory loss in mice. Considering our limited ability to treat this condition at present, the outcomes of this study are significant and show promise towards identifying an effective age-related memory loss treatment. This presentation will discuss the biological mechanisms of age-related memory loss, how researchers manipulate these processes in mice to reduce the effects of the condition, and how their findings can be applied to the benefit of people. The study centers around the manipulation of cartilage-like brain structures known as perineuronal nets, or PNNs, which surround neurons. Recently, it was found that these structures play a large role in regulating neuroplasticity, or the ability for the brain to adapt, take in new information, and form new memories. In humans, PNNs appear around the age of 5, at which point they reduce the high levels of neuroplasticity seen in early childhood. Over time, plasticity is reduced further, which makes the brain more efficient, but reduces its ability to take in new information. This explains why it's often more difficult to learn new things at higher ages. PNNs are regulated by compounds known as chondroitin sulfates. Some of these, such as chondroitin 4 sulfate, reduce plasticity in the brain, while others, such as chondroitin 6 sulfate, promote it. The proportions of these compounds change as we age, with levels of chondroitin 6 sulfate decreasing over time. At a certain point, this process can ultimately result in age-related memory loss. Researchers at the University of Leeds and the University of Cambridge question whether altering the proportions of chondroitin sulfates could positively impact memory. To determine this, they conducted experiments on mice which have similar neurological processes to humans with regard to PNN development. A group of 20-month-old mice, which are considered to be old in terms of mouse lifespan, were subjected to a memory test before being compared to a younger group of six-month-old mice. The memory test involved placing a mouse in a Y-shaped maze with two paths, each with an identical object at the end. After the mouse was allowed to explore the objects for some time, it was placed in the maze again, with one object remaining the same and the other being replaced with a new object. The researchers recorded the amount of time a mouse would spend exploring the old object versus the new one to gauge how well it remembered the old object. Unsurprisingly, it was found that the 20-month-old mice had far worse memory than the 6-month-old mice. Following this experiment, the researchers treated the 20-month-old mice with a virus that increased levels of chondroitin-6 sulfate in their brain, in hopes that this would improve neuroplasticity and therefore memory retention. Following treatment, it was found that the memory of the 20-month-old mice was restored to a nearly identical level to that of the 6-month-old group. Due to the success of this experiment, research is now being conducted to see how these memory loss treatments could be implemented on human patients. A potential drug that limits PNN development, which can be taken orally, has already been identified by researchers and has proven successful during trials in animals. Research is also being conducted as to whether this treatment process can mitigate the effects of disease-related memory loss, such as Alzheimer's disease, as well as other neuronal damage such as spinal cord injuries. In summary, these tests on mice have led to important developments with regard to age-related memory loss, which are now being studied in human patients. This study is an important breakthrough that brings us closer to finding an effective treatment, and perhaps a cure to age-induced memory loss.